Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another declutter. I got some really good feedback on my lip product declutter I did. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it up above in the cards over here. Basically, I decluttered my liquid lipstick and lip gloss stash because it was getting out of hand. Similarly, my foundation collection here is also getting out of control. I do weed my collection throughout the year, but I want to start making declutter videos because you guys seem to really like them. So today we're going to go through my foundations, CC creams, etc. So there'll be products I'm keeping for myself to use, products I'll be passing on to friends and family, and then products that are going straight in the trash because they're expired, I don't like them, or they're old, or whatnot. So please subscribe down below and let's go ahead and hop right in. First up we have the Kula Resilience SPF 30 Organic BB Plus Cream and this is in the shade Light Medium. This is a PR sample but I remember looking this up in Sephora and it was really expensive. So this has broad spectrum SPF 30, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes, cruelty free, plant protection. Check your SPFs because they do expire. This says this expired in April of 2018 and the issue with this is I never reached for it because the color was just not really a good match for me. Oh, you can see it's already like chunking up in the applicator. It's just too much of a purpley grayish color for my skin tone. Now we're going to wipe that off. I've got some Garni micellar towelettes here. So I'm going to be tossing this one because it is expired. Didn't really like the color or the formula, so unfortunately that's going to be trashed. Next up is the Lancome Le Temps Particulier Custom Made Makeup. You can see it has my name on it. I went to a PR event with Lancome to develop my customized foundation. This is for you if you never can quite find the right shade match. They have a smart technology device that will match your exact skin tone. Basically develop the formula to your liking. You can add SPF, you can make it medium, full or light coverage, whatever you prefer. Certain Lancome counters at their more premium stores will have the machine that will blend your foundation. If you'd like to repurchase the exact formula, there is a serial number printed on every label. It's a bespoke service, a really fun one, and something for any kind of makeup lover to make your perfect foundation. Mine's almost empty. You get 0.7 fluid ounces. I think it's $80, so it's very expensive, but really fun if you're a makeup junkie. So mine's actually almost empty. It feels very lightweight. I'm going to finish this off. My particular formula has no SPF and it's a medium coverage. My only regret is mine came out a little bit on the pink side. I can definitely still work with it, but I like it for a full coverage, a medium to full coverage day. This is a great foundation for me. So, going to be keeping this and finishing it off. Next up is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation in the shade 302 Creamy Natural. Now, flat out, I'm gonna be throwing this away since it is expired. This foundation can be really, really cakey because it is that like maximum coverage formula. And I just personally much prefer the Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I like this one mixed with other foundation, but you know, mixing is just too much for me right now. You can see the, the coverage right there. It is pretty much full coverage. It kind of has a moussey texture. This one I'm gonna toss since it is expired and I've had it for so long. And it's just not my favorite, you know, it's okay. I like to blend it with other things. But in terms of an all over one and done foundation, it's just too cakey for me. Going to be putting that in the trash pile. Next up is another foundation that has expired. This is the Pure Cosmetics Hydra Fluid Water Serum Foundation. I have mentioned this previously in a favorites video, I want to say two or three years ago. And the shelf life on this is 12 months. It is like a watery, blendable, light coverage foundation. For days where I had eczema and my skin was just really tender and red, this was a great thing that was very forgiving on my skin to even out my complexion and not irritate, you know, those more sensitive tender areas. So I really like this, but it is long gone expired, so I will be tossing it. But it's a good one to check out if you have maybe drier skin, sensitive skin, and you just want something more on the light coverage side. Next up, we have the Airborean CC Cream. This is a high definition radiance face cream skin perfector the shade is Claire and it has broad spectrum SPF 25 so this one comes out white and it has those pigment spheres that kind of warm up and adjust to your skin tone it feels amazing on the skin this whole brand is Korean meets French skincare the finish is gorgeous it just doesn't last as long and give as much coverage as I want uh, or something like this. We'll get to this in a minute. Again with the Airborean products, I spoke about this in my disappointing products video. I don't know why the shelf life on their products is so obscenely short. This one says six months. 
and if I recall correctly, the micellar water that I was reviewing had a three month shelf life. So a little, a little dicey, but I'm going to keep it because I am going to use it up. I really do like the finish of this. Maybe on a day where I don't need as much complexion correcting, this is a great one for a medium coverage, but we'll get into it cosmetics in a few minutes here. That has a much higher coverage, so I'm going to be keeping this. My current go-to favorite foundation is this one, Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Long wear, high coverage foundation, broad spectrum SPF 25, and the shade number is 3. I wear this in a lot of my YouTube videos lately, and I try and link it down in the description box. So if you ever have questions about what I'm wearing in the videos that do feature my face, it's usually this one. My hand is a little bit tanner than my face, so let's just address the elephant in the room. I like this because it has a yellow undertone. For me, I get a lot of redness in my face, and I have pink undertones. I love it when my foundation can correct that without looking like a mask. And this is just one of those long wear foundations that evens out my complexion, looks good, and provides a lot of coverage, as you can see. So this was my sister's originally, but she passed it on to me because she has more dry skin, and she prefers luminous silk. Power fabric is much better suited towards my oily combination skin. So definitely keeping this. I love it a lot. Next up, I want to talk about these three foundations here. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. It's supposed to be a comfort matte formula and transfer resistant. CoverGirl actually sent me all of the shades from the collection. They have something like 40 shades. So L15 is porcelain, L20 is light ivory, and L30 is golden ivory. I thought I'd keep these three shades so I can like mix and match and develop my custom shade. They're working out okay for me. I think the issue I have with this foundation is that it doesn't last that long on my skin. My skin eats up this foundation and it kind of breaks apart. It's just honestly not as good as the Outlast 3-in-1 foundation that everybody was going crazy for on YouTube several years ago. I personally love that foundation. If you go through some of my older videos and search the word Outlast, you'll probably see it several videos featuring that foundation. I'm going to keep these foundations for now. Keep trying them out just because I don't have too many foundations without SPF that I can wear at like nighttime events where there's flash photography and whatnot. So I'm going to be keeping these. It's not my favorite foundation in the world, but I do get use out of it. It's definitely not hardcore enough to last me a long full day out and like I don't think it lasts 12 hours at all. So I'm going to be keeping these, but they might not survive a future declutter. That's all I'm saying. Okay, you guys, do I have a problem? No, I don't think I have a problem. So It Cosmetics does send me like pretty much monthly PR packages, including some of their top sellers and their new releases. Basically, this is my current go-to base product from It Cosmetics. So this is the CC Plus Oil-Free Matte. This is a long wear CC cream. It's got an expanded shade selection, SPF 40 broad spectrum. It's got a poreless finish. It is full coverage. You could use it with a brush. I prefer it with a beauty sponge. I've used it, I think, in two of my latest Get Ready With Me videos. Currently, I'm using the shade Fair Light, which is one step above fair. And you can see there are some slight differences in the undertone of these. So I have one more of these in a travel makeup bag, I think, in the shade Light. These are brand new, unopened. This one I'm currently using. So I'm actually gonna keep all of these because I use it every day, it's my current favorite, and I love it so much. And then the original Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. There are some small differences. This one has higher SPF, has a more radiant finish. Doesn't last as long as the oil-free CC. This one truly appeals to all skin types. So I would say if you're more oily, go with the other one. But this one I still love. I'm going to be keeping these. This one's pretty much almost empty, and this one is a full two. Also from It Cosmetics, we have the Bye Bye Lines Foundation, and we have the shades Light and Fair. Are you seeing a trend here? Um, I really love the packaging of this. It's one of those airless pumps that, as you pump the product, it rises from the bottom, so you really get every last little bit out. I really do like this foundation. It's anti-aging, skin smoothing, and invisible coverage. It's not my favorite foundation in the world, but it's definitely one that gets the job done. So that is fair, and that one is light. So it's got a decent amount of coverage to it, but again, they're not super long wearing, and my favorite foundations are long wearing. I like these, are they my favorite foundations in the world? No, but they do have a medium coverage, they're super forgiving on the skin, they look good, and they're not cakey. So I don't know if they're necessarily line filling, uh, but I would say they are more forgiving on more mature skin. So if you're a little bit older or concerned about those fine lines and wrinkles and 
foundation settling. This would be a good foundation to check out. For that reason, I'm going to be keeping these. Next up, we have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. This contains SPF 20 Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum, and the shade I have is Classic Ivory Number no. 10. I really do enjoy this foundation. It has a beautiful finish on the skin. Like it says, healthy skin. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like a ton of makeup. My only gripe with this is the packaging. Um, I wish it had a pump. It is just a old school drugstore pour out foundation. This just like brings me back to middle school. Like, packaging is not ideal, but the color works for me. And as you can see, there's kind of the finish. It's not cakey really beautiful finish on the skin. You could set it with a powder if you want it to last a little bit longer. I really love the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Powder. I believe I have two Get Ready With Me videos on my YouTube channel featuring this foundation if you'd like to see it in action. And I love it and I'm going to be keeping it. And last up we have the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. This is in Ivory to Fair 10. It's a moisturizing retinol treatment with sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 20. So I have read and heard conflicting information on using retinol during the day. A lot of estheticians say like it doesn't really work in the sun and that you should be using it only at night and then of course sticking to SPF during the day. This kind of combines the two so that's pretty interesting. That aside, I really enjoy the formula of this. In terms of coverage it actually gives you a light to medium coverage and if you're not somebody who loves foundation you might want to check this out because it just feels more like a tinted moisturizer i would definitely recommend this and that is why i'm going to keep it okay here's our keep pile i'm going to put them back in the drawer and get them organized so i'm going to put these over in my everyday makeup stash over to my right here I think I'm going to declutter one of these because I just really don't need three of these if I'm not crazy about the formula. They're all so different. <laughs> Slight change of heart. I'm going to be passing number 20 onto a friend and keeping these. All right, you guys, it's a little pathetic, but here we have my trash pile, these three and my gift to a friend pile, which is this one over here. From a practicality standpoint, I think I have a manageable collection. So the total tally today is I kept 14, I passed on one, and I'm trashing three. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future declutters. Let me know what other declutters you'd like to see in a comment down below. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.